All right, got a southern case of its unit. Reported as not working. Not getting gold. So this is the back side of the case. And then we've got the refrigerant lines that come down through this little little kick panel here. Go down, up, then they go across the store all the way to the front right corner. And then those are then right there. They go all the way to the back side of the store. And then up here on top of this cooler, we've got all these lines up there. We've got two racks, two protocols up there. So up here on the rack that is affecting the case that I'm working on, I found a leak on the liquid line level indicator. Right here. Look at that. See if I can tighten that down. Oh man, I think we will. Went and got my four jugs of refrigerant to, to charge it back up. Since it's the furthest from the rack, it's the first one that's affected by it. Rack's got a 4% liquid level in it. And you can really tell here, when you connect your liquid line gauge, and you don't really see much liquid. See that? No liquid there? That's how you know it's, a, it's low in refrigerant. Got it set up. Alright, and we're going to dump our liquid in here and let it go all the way up the suction line hundreds and hundreds of feet back to the rack slowly we'll see this liquid line pressure go up and then we should see some liquid out of this valve in a little bit and then we also should see this temperature start dropping got it set up all right and we're gonna dump our liquid in here and let it go all the way up the suction line hundreds and hundreds of feet back to the rack. Slowly we'll see this liquid line pressure go up and then we should see some liquid out of this valve in a little bit and then we also should see this temperature start dropping. It really sucks when these things aren't labeled, man. Alright, so while this first one's going in, I'm going to go check uh, on the rack on the liquid level and see uh, how much it's changing. Hasn't changed much yet. Let's see, right now we're showing it to be 918.27. Still showing at 4.6. That refrigerant's making its way up here right now through that suction line. You should start seeing this go up here pretty quick. There it goes.
we got two side classes on this uh, on this rack. This one here was flashing earlier. At least now this one's cleared up. Looks like. And then this one is still flashing. And I'll tell you what, this thing is pretty dry. I'm gonna go put another jug in it. It didn't even move that. I guess that's gonna be zero percent. So that's the way these are, I guess. I've come to find out. These things will read 10% or this one four percent, but it's actually got zero in it. So I'm gonna go add jug number two now. Alright, well so far we can see now after one jug. full column yet but a little like I said this is the one furthest away and our temperature is starting to go down so that's good I've taken the, the sensing bulb off that way it feeds more through the valve because when it was on here it was getting really cold from that liquid refrigerant going in there so it closes the valve whenever you do that so that's not cool all right got the second one going in now I'm gonna go check out the, the rack and see if the level changes Going up to 12, level of 12, hopefully it stays up there. All right, and finally my needle started to move. Y'all can see that it's really hard to see, but it says five percent now. I'm showing to have 8.7 on here. the fourth jug going in now and I believe I've got a full column of liquid here now sure looks like it okay I've added my four jugs finishing up here I'm just gonna go see what the uh, computer saying now Certainly a lot better than where it was a little bit ago. All right, you see under here, we got um, these lines right there. They are dead ends. They go nowhere. I don't know what the point of those is. If anybody knows what the point of those is, please let me know.